Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Aquarius, today will do your monthly reading. This will be for the month of May 2020. General readings, whatever energy I'm picking up, either it's love, career, money, or whoever comes up will share with you. Either you're single, either you're coupled. And this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. General messages. And if you stick with me till the end, my lovely Aquarius will gather information from all the zodiac signs. If you deal with one of them, stick with me from Aries to Pisces to gather information or messages from them. And there is a brief messages. There are brief messages from the oracles. And let's share with you whatever comes up into this month. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs and Venus signs what we got for you and after the oracles of course we do the reading with the tarot and the spirit messages i do read the souls i do read the energies and whatever comes up for you that is shared from the wisdom of the oracle we have a leg up number 34 and underneath we have blessed i believe i i got underneath blessed energy for the Gemini if you are connected with the Gemini go and see that reading also a leg up that speaks to me one of you might need help this month from somebody or somebody it is giving you some help so some of you it shows me here do not hesitate or don't be stubborn to not let somebody to help you if somebody comes up and say hey I want to give you something don't say right away no 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 i'm fine and things like that sometimes it's good to receive some things not just to give and if you need to help somebody you might be very much like hey i'm generous or i wanted to do a good thing take this appreciation from me in a good way the spirit animal oracle share with me your message for the aquarius we have the Volter spirit Nothing is wasted. Okay? Because I feel here the one who comes and help you, it's probably you in the past help a lot of people or vice versa. You might help somebody who probably in the past helped you and things like that. But I feel here nothing is wasted is whatever you give comes back in unexpected ways. And many times is ten times unfolded. And underneath we have Scout Spirit. The miracles are endless. For some of you, you don't really believe that things are going with you this way. And you are very much like, why is that? Definitely I see family. I see movement. And I see new beginnings here. I see some luck here around your money, around your coins. It's like this is the family tree. For some of you, it could be the money tree. But I definitely see here with number five, there is some changes. As you see here, there is a rainbow. At here, a new beginning, there is another rainbow. So, as you always know, when it's raining with the sun, there's coming a rainbow. And something here, it is in between. Like, should I be happy? Should I cry of happiness? Or should I not be happy? It's like you are very much into that energy. Like, should I smile? Should I not? It is good or it is not. That's how you are feeling. Like, confused. Your emotions are going up and down. For some of you, Aquarius, you might be overly emotional this month in regard to something. But things will move forward. I see you're very strong person also with the Volter spirit there is something moves forward and it's move forward beyond you it's kind of beyond your dreams or beyond what you thought that could go let's see here loves what we got here even this times it's hard to believe that somebody is traveling believe it or not they are people who do travel they are people who moves back and forth and yes, there's not everybody stuck out there as we think they are. 
Let's see here, lovely Aquarians. But never forget, Aquarius, that we are blessed no matter what. Page of Swords, looking towards something here. It's like new income, new streams of income, new cash flow. Something here feels like ah, nothing goes the way I want to. But you are very interested in something new. Let's see here. Seven of Wands in reverse, but there, there is, I will read it in reverse as common reverse. I don't know why, but yeah. There is something you holding on very, very strongly. It's kind of let it go. Like something here is like, you know, once I'm done, I'm done. That's not serving me anymore. There was too much chaos and conflict, which I feel here, based on the cards here, you you leave a very low energy behind. Something here you you thought it's great and awesome actually was like you against everybody and everything. And that was at one point like a burden. You're putting that burden down. You might connect here with an Aries Aquarius or with a Sag. There is peace. There is things actually you learn this month with this temperance energy and hangman. There is an alignment here. There's an Aquarius here very much into spirituality and say like, you know, the divine detours are happening sometimes and they are meant to happen for many, many of us. I see Sag and I see Piscean, Knight of Swords. Things might feel very slow, but whatever happened here is tells you if you tend to rush things into something, they will go again the way they are. It's like you are in a, for some of you, you are in an internal conflict. That's what I, I see you, but try to take your time. You do progress, but I see the slow progress. And sometimes, even it's slow, there is progress. But that's why somebody told me, the key to success is the progress you go. Either slow, either fast, but is for you to move up. And consistency. If you don't have that consistency, it's like you run, you stop, you run, you stop. That's a big gap. If you keep doing slow and steady, that's the progress. And I feel here, you Aquarius, that what you need to do. And I feel here you do it. But at one point you feel like, I'm done. I'm okay. I gotta go. And that's why you need some help. And I feel here somebody might help you. Might help you here in a spiritual way. Could be somebody you know. Could be somebody you, you know, you sense that they are helping you. But there is help from the universe, most likely. For some of you, it is an actual person who is helping you. Could be a family member, a mother figure, a father figure. But their energy is very good towards yours. I hope some Aquarius understand me that way. Let's see here why you are... Seven of Wands in reverse. Something here you, you felt stuck. You let it go. Could be love. Could be money. Could be whatever things it is. But I feel here you, you kept this burden for a long time. It was a long time here. But you kept it so strongly. You either loved it very much. Or either you worked very hard. It could be a love situation, you let it go. Or it could be a job situation. You worked hard, you wanted improvement, you loved it. But you feel like, I don't have growth. Somebody here could be even a job who you don't see any growth right now. Or was no growth for a couple, couple years or some certain time. There is something new, my loves. There is absolutely something new. 
And I feel here somebody needs to take some time and reflect and then get new ideas. There are new ideas come up when you reflect. There's new offers here. And there is different offers, like different views, something totally different than what you ever experienced. But I feel here there is something around work. Around the work, Aquarius. Money, work, and Queen of Pentacles. Queen's about yin energy, about receiving things. There is some advices regards your work or regards your money. Somebody will give it to you. And you might not want to accepting it, but Spirit says, take, take in count. Give it a shot. You might be surprised here. For some of you in love, you will let go to somebody. Somebody who you had a long-term relationship. But it's kind of in your own term. In your own terms. Yeah. There is something ends right now. There's a karmic energy here. And right now. Could be ends with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel here there is something here in regards money. But I see movement forward. There is an Aquarius here needs to leave a situation behind if they want to move fast forward in here. Because there is something else. And you are the emperor. If you want to get what you want, stick with that change. Because this change is coming and I don't see you... It's kind of... You try to gain other things, but other ideas, other solutions, but sometimes it's try, trying to fix something or to keep something, it, it is not to your favor. That's what I get. But I see here movement forward. There is an ending between you and somebody here. There is a somebody here ends a situation or a connection for some of you could be a work situation for some of you could be with somebody who you've been and loved very dearly and I see here there is something else you might start talking in a short time with somebody else so yes a lovely Aquarius yes I do see you you're looking towards a new beginning and you're looking towards somebody else. There is a water sign could have fire in the chart. You might have fire in the chart. And I see here there is an Aquarius leaving somebody and is talking in a very short time with somebody else. So, my loves, I see you on a new journey. I see you on a new journey. That was a hard situation for you to let it go, but I feel here you you might feel it's hard to let it even now, but things will start putting in place as we go forward in the month of May going June and the other part of the year. Let's see here my lovely Aquarius. If you deal with any zodiac sign, what's going on out there? What's the vibes? What the dynamics between you two? If you're dealing with an Aries, things are up in the air between you two. Somebody here it is questioning are we stable or we are not. There is here something not not quite there. Somebody is confused here. And there is one of you, there is jealous on the other one. It's like things on outside looks awesome, but inside between you two, 
not really somebody here it is is not fully there and somebody here needs to be honest with the other one if you're dealing with a Taurus there is passion between you two there is weight I feel here you are waiting for this person to make their moves uh, right now I don't see you right away with this person I feel here there's a long wait for you to get back Spirit says you need to get a lot of patience if you wanna be with this person also if you try to talk with this person there will be some arguments also there are other people here in between you two if you're dealing with a Gemini let's see well this person eventually will come back but I feel here this person might work at the distance here the resistance is real here but I feel here this person first thing first they want to make career then a love relationship but they will come back to you absolutely if you're dealing with a Cancerian well you will hear from this person again that's for sure but something here it is not for this person to like any or something you do not like about it whatever it is this person is very mysterious or they they hide something they will connect to you again after a missed opportunity there is some sort of regret here I don't feel is fully shared but I feel here you will talk with them again if you're dealing with a Leo here this person wants to reconcile with you they are not moved on from you or you with them they do want to come back and grow this relationship somebody here might feel like I'm not enough or they feel they are not enough somebody here might feel left out in the cold for some reason but they do want to come back if you're dealing with a Virgo well this person is meant to be in your life my loves they wish to be with you in a more stable commitment and definitely if it's a new person into your life this person wants something long term they have passion and love for you I feel here this person is falling in love with you if it's a new person if it's somebody who you've been dealing before they absolutely will come back to you with a message with a text if you're dealing with a Libra well there is no communication here there is holding back and I feel here somebody needs more time but I feel here the one who says I need more time that person tries to move on with their life I feel here that the things are very stagnant in here for one of you not for both of you one of you is moving on the other one is still holding but I don't see communication it's minimal or is non-existent if you are dealing with a Scorpio here well there is more people here involved somebody is busy with other things I feel here the Scorpio might work two jobs to get themselves stable in love that's not too much to share here also somebody here might get a divorce a separation with somebody else they might have money problems but I definitely see them stuck on something here whatever they telling you that's not truly honesty or vice versa if you're dealing with a Sagittarius well whatever this person is telling you do not really believe okay because they might seem honest to you but actually they don't really share it's kind of they share what you want to hear if it's a third party here this person is a very good liar very good manipulator and especially with their words 
because I don't see this person loving you, my loves. So I see them very much like they try to be in control of you, but they don't want to give you too much. It's like, go back, but no, I will hold you here. So be very careful with this person. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, there is a decision here. Somebody here is very much back and forth with the energy, and the other one hurts. Okay? There is passion, there is love, but somebody here needs to make up their mind. And to not hurt the other one. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, well, it seems to me if you are dealing with an Aquarius, there is somebody else in here. And I feel here somebody doesn't want to... It's kind of in the defense mode. That's not true, that's not this. But there is somebody else in between you two. Because there is a couple here. There is a... I don't believe, I don't think so, what are you talking about? But in the fact there is somebody else out there. So if your intuition is telling you something, follow that. There is some betrayal here, my loves. Yeah, there is a third party here. And the third party is could be a water sign. If you are dealing with a Pisces, oof, this person are wanting to come forward with you. Something here is keeping them back. Could be money. It's kind of they are very sad that they cannot be with you. There could be a financial situation, but this person does want to move forward with you. They might live at the distance right now, but they do have a lot of love towards you. And it's kind of, I am in love. I want to go forward, but things are a little stuck. Yeah, things will change, okay? Things will change. And there will be a new beginning. If you think that things are not changing between you and a Pisces, they will be changed later on. So, lovely Aquarians, this is what I got for you. And I want to thank each of you who joined the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe. I do invite you. If you are always here, thank you for watching and supporting this channel. Love and light to all of you. Have a beautiful month of May and we'll see you next time. Namaste.